my Christina Mendonca here from the KFPK Morning News. And with me, we have Tom Daves of eXp Realty. And we are going to get into this real estate market, talk about it because it's been a crazy year, Tom. So much is happening. And now we've seen yet another shift in the market. What's going on? Wow. Hey, Christina. Great to see you again. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. It's so good to talk with you again. Well, you know what? There's a lot of talk about the market. And is there a shift in the market? Well, and a lot of people say, gee, is the market glowing or is the market slowing? Well, a lot of people look at it one of the two ways, either it's glowing or it's slowing. But the answer to that is actually, yes, it's both. It is glowing. Um, you know, we're not seeing the crazy, um, hectic, you know, 20 to 30 offers that are coming in, but we are seeing it slowing just slightly. And we're seeing more of a seasonal market this time of year. Okay, so more of a seasonal market. Is that because like kids are back in school and families have kind of made their move for the summer or is there something else going on? Yeah, so basically, actually, there were a lot of people that took off on vacation the last few months. I mean, things kind of opened up a little bit. So a lot of people were traveling uh, before school is back in. Um, and so the market is still a seller's market right now. Um, and the market is still moving well. Okay, great. So it is a seller's market. Um, that's great news if you have a home to sell. But what if you're looking to buy? How are buyers that are looking to get into a home uh, finding the market? How do, what can you tell them? Well, you know, there are a lot of options for buyers. Buyers um, still have a lot of options. There's a lot more inventory uh, for them to choose from. And so with the historic low interest rates, now is really a good time to buy. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, what about home values? I mean, for a while we were seeing like 25, 30,000, 40,000 over asking price. I mean, are those crazy values still holding up? Oh, it's just been a high adrenaline, high octane market. It's been crazy with 20, 30 offers on a property, 20 to $200,000 over list price. Well, that's a great question because the values are still going up. We don't have the 20 to 35% crazy appreciation that's frankly it's not sustainable anymore but now we're seeing more of a four to five percent appreciation and in fact the economists are stating that we will see about a four to five percent appreciation next year which is more sustainable right but still that's an appreciation i mean you you look at um you know, there are a lot of people that still work-wise are not back into the market. So what's fueling this appreciation? Well, what's fueling the market right now and what's fueling is, quite honestly, is the interest rates. They are at an artificial low of 2 to 3% because of the pandemic. Um, they are slated to go up next year. They're not going to be here forever. And then also millennials. Oh, my gosh. Millennials are coming of age right now. Um, that's the largest group in our country. They're at the ages from 25 to 40 years old. And I guess they've kind of decided, well, now's the time to quit going to the clubs and let's start a family and buy a home, right? <laughs> right, right. We all grow up. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> right. All right. So let's talk about the Bay Area buyer because folks moving up north from the Bay Area, it has been just huge. Even before the pandemic, it was going on. Is that still a thing? A hundred percent. We are seeing so many Bay Area buyers that are moving up here. Quite frankly, there's so many reasons. You know, the affordability, there's more space for multi-generational home office. I mean, Apple, Google, Twitter, Facebook, um, a good percentage of their employees are working from home or a hybrid. Plus, we have great job opportunities here with healthcare, high tech, um, not to mention all the fun recreation, you know, and plus we're close to the Bay Area, the beach, we're close to Tahoe. Um, and, you know, I think that they really enjoy 
kind of our more laid back vibe here with less traffic and we're kind of becoming a farm to fork culinary scene. Have you noticed that? Oh yeah, definitely. There's not a shortage of uh, wonderful places to, to, uh, to dine in our region. Mm -hmm. So that's just one of the great things about it. So that's the feedback that you're getting from the Bay Area buyers that they really like it up here. They well, love it uh, here. So Tom, every morning on the KFUK Morning News, uh, we're talking about how you are working with out of state buyers, people who wanna move from California out of state. So is this a trend that you see continuing? Yes, we're seeing a lot of sellers, a lot of Californians do wanna move out of California. Um, they wanna move to Idaho, Colorado, Arizona, Texas, Tennessee, for so many reasons, affordability, political, um, but we're seeing a lot of sellers that are moving out of California. Wow. Uh, you know, I, we, I've talked about this before on the air about um, your program that helps people um, that are moving out of state kind of get their home set up. I mean, your whole team kind of swoops in and just really helps people through this buying process because that's stressful. I mean, making a move within state is stressful, but moving across the country can be very stressful. Oh, it's stressful, it's emotional, and there's so many intricacies that come to a real estate transaction. So we have a whole 12-step moving out of state program that we help sellers with everything from staging to cleaning to prep to putting it on the market and getting it sold. We have other connecting realtors in every state and city in the country so we can connect them and just make the whole process smooth. Oh, that is uh, such a relief to people. Cause yeah, moving is, I think, doesn't it list as one of the top 10 things that are like stressors in your Number life? Two. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. It well, is. <laughs> Absolutely. So we're still in the thick of the pandemic, Tom, and uh, you know, we're hoping to get through it soon, but people are still making moves both out of state, in state, within the state. Do you see this robust market lasting for very much longer? I mean, what's your forecast? Well, of course, no one has a crystal ball, but the forecast is at least for the next year, interest rates will stay low. They will increase slightly. So of course that will change the market. And of course, it's all about supply and demand. For every 1% interest rate increase, a buyer loses 10% buying power. So we will see the interest rates apparently go up slightly, which will cause an effect on the market, uh, but we are still expecting to see a good solid market that is sustainable for buyers. If you're a buyer, it's a great time to take advantage of the low rates. There's a lot more choices. And if, if you're a seller, you can still get a good price. Now you're not going to get 20 to 30 offers on your home, uh, but you will, you will get a single, double or triple one, two or three offers um, if your home is priced right. Uh, but we don't know how long this will last. So um, it's still a good market and it should continue over the course of the last year. Okay, excellent. Tom, thank you so much for sharing uh, your time and your expertise with us today. I mean, I know people will want to reach out if they're even thinking about how, you know, their plans for the future and how they're going to market their home. So how do they get a hold of you? How do they reach out? The best way is 855 Tom Daves, or just go to my website, tomdaves.com. Excellent. Thank you, Tom. Have a, a wonderful day. And thank you again for all of the great information. Thank you, Christina. Have a good day.